Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Good morning, y'all. Well, good afternoon. Yeah, it's 12.47, but I'm just not really, like, getting up, getting up after, you know, my shower and all that. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to um, a new vlog, another weekly vlog. I'm starting this weekly vlog so late in the week. Like, was, it's Wednesday right now. Like, I had a lot going on earlier this week. So, I'm just like, you know what? I still got a lot to do this week. So, um, we just going to pick up where it is. And I'm going to just, you know, make sure to record or whatever. It's, so, I know y'all see I don't got no nails on. Y'all know that it's not like me to, like, not have no nails on. But I'm not getting my nails on until my birthday. I just want to rock short nails for a while. I know some of y'all is probably, like, especially some of y'all who really know me. I know y'all, like, you don't even wear short nails. Like, your nails is always mad long. But it's like, yes, girl, I'm wearing my short nails. I'm wearing my real nails for a while. I'm going to just go to the salon and get them painted white or something, like, get my toes done and all that. Um, I do have a lot of projects I'm working on too, which is another reason why um, I don't want to wear my real nails. Plus, I think it's pointless. My birthday is in what three weeks, and I usually get my nails done every month. Usually, my nails last about a month, so it's just like eh, it's kind of pointless, and I'm gonna have to get them done over again. That makes no sense. So yeah, I'm rocking my real nails. And lately, I washed my hair the other day, which I tried to record, but the lighting just wasn't right, and I just was not. I'm not gonna lie, I was in the mood to do it, and then. I want my videos to look a certain way, especially when I'm recording certain things, and it, the quality was just not given. Like, it was not given, especially because I was trying to use my other camera, because I'm using my, um, my like, regular filming camera right now on the tripod, and girl, this camera is heavy. But I was using that one, and the picture, um, not the picture, but the... Uh, the one, the lighting, two, the memory. It was just too much going on with the camera. I was just like, you know, I'm not recording this. But if y'all do want to see, um... Y'all want me to include, like, you know, um, natural hair care things uh, in my videos or do a hair care video. I can get that up for y'all and do that because I do care for my own hair now. Before, I used to go to my cousin in Jersey when I was living in New York to um, braid my hair up, oil it down. You know, she would do me real good and give me a nice little braiding pattern that would last me like a few months or whatever the case may be. And, um, yeah, so I'm taking care of my hair now. I got my real hair out. But if y'all want to see, I'm going to actually enter a clip of how my hair is doing now. I just want to vlog, you know, my hair journey. My, once again, my hair, if you don't know, my hair has never been this long before. So, um, yeah, I'm just working to get my hair more thick now than actually um, longer. Because, yeah, I wanted to get longer, but it already have length. Like, it's down my back. So, um, you know, I just want some length. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm working on that. And um, I probably might braid up my hair one of these days. I'm not going to do it today because I really just want to get straight to work. I don't want to have to worry about that right now. So, with that being said, on today's agenda, I'm going to be um, doing a hair video or two. I really want to do two. I'm aiming for two, but it just depends on how the day goes. I'm going to have to do my makeup. And um, I got some packages in the mail. Packing the mail is going. Hold on. I got all my mail over there. All my um, hair packages, work packages to do. So, um, yeah, y'all. This is about to be a real busy couple of weeks. I'm not complaining. I'm ready for it. You know, got to make the change. And um, I'm ready to start these new projects. So, I got to start somewhere, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. So right now, I know y'all also wanted to see a strictly dedicated um, makeup video. Y'all wanted me to do a makeup tutorial. So I don't know if I'm going to enter it in this vlog or make a whole separate one. Because I always tell y'all, like, if y'all what y'all want to see, I'm going to give it to y'all. And y'all always be like, girl, yes, that's what we want to see. We've been telling you that that's what we wanted to see. So I'm going to make sure um, I do that. I just want to do the perfect look for it. I don't know if I want to have... A wig on already I don't know if I want to do my makeup and then put a wig on and just do it like that you know I do work with hair companies so sometimes I have to do everything within that video but I do want to do a separate video strictly dedicated to the makeup so I'm gonna make sure I do that for y'all within these next few days maybe even this week who knows the only reason why I'm not doing it today is because I do have a busy schedule for um, hair videos unfortunately um, so 
yeah that's pretty much what's going on so i'm not gonna hold y'all up too long but yeah so i'm about to go do my makeup um i might show y'all little clips or whatever the case may be but i'm definitely gonna give y'all a fully like detailed full makeup tutorial products and all like i promise y'all y'all can take my word for it i'm gonna give that to y'all very very soon very soon so yeah y'all let's get started with the day and um let's work on look number one now actually i don't even know what look i'm gonna do i know i'm probably gonna do um i'm probably gonna do um a closure wig only because i could just take it on and take it off so yeah i could take it on and off y'all oh my god y'all will really see me this natural it's not even wrong with being natural either by the way but y'all know i'm always miss extra so right now i have and i have one downstairs and they also mail one to my um, father's house in New York so I'm supposed to have two more packages on top of these but right now uh -uh, don't fall in the sink right now we have packages so um, these are my packages for right now I gotta go downstairs and get the other one and all that I'm gonna be doing a video with um, a Faha company too because y'all know um, I've documented my surgery journey and this is not gonna be my last time that's not my last time getting surgery so I do want to let y'all know about this company right here, but that's going to be in a whole separate video. I didn't even open the box, so um, I'm going to do an unboxing and whatnot. So, yeah, I just got to pick which wig I'm going to do, and I got to start bleaching. I got to start going and get ready, so let's work on look number one. All right, so being that I'm doing two looks, I'm going to just go ahead and glue down my... Um, bowl cap real quick just so it could be a quick transition plus when i do my makeup i do not like to do my um bowl cap and all that because i don't want it to mess up my eyebrows none of that so i'm gonna go ahead and do um this first y'all i'm so frustrated i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm so frustrated with my hair because like what is it really giving like the nerve well now it's like a bit more i don't want to say um it got some product in it because i had it in a nice pony yesterday from what i showed y'all and you know my edges is a bit you know i got some product on it and all i look a little crazy but i'm gonna be slicking all of this back i really should have quick like washed just the front real quick and blow dried it but i'm actually happy it's gonna be glued back so i mean it's gonna be slicked back so you know um i could it could hold in my edges a little bit more but y'all my hair like oh my god i'm just so frustrated and i don't know if it's just like weak i don't know what it's giving because <sighs> girl my hair need to have a little bit more length like and thickness like it's just very 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 frustrating for me but yeah this is what i got going on my hair right now Hopefully y'all saw that. I don't know if I was out there, I think. And then I just took off my lash extensions. I wish I would have vlogged that, y'all. Oh, my God. I just took off my lash extensions. Oh, my God. See, I, I'm thinking about everything I wanted to tell y'all or oh, I filmed and did not get to put up because I lost my vlogging memory card. And I'm still mad about that. If I ever find it, I just still might just, you know, post the little stuff I did want to post. But let me just quickly brief, you know, whatever. So, somebody mentioned that they never seen me with eyelash extensions. And I actually went and got them for Jamaica when I went on my Jamaica trip. And it was cool, whatever. I just didn't like the way um, it was making my eyes look droopy. And I just now noticed and learned that maybe it was so droopy because when I wear um, strips, I get 25 millimeter lashes, which of course to most people is like so dramatic, so long. But when I wear them, I don't never like my na my lashes never give like it you look crazy like it's doing too much. Like yeah, for, pe for people who's used to like more natural stuff, they be like, oh my god, your lashes is so long. But I just don't be feeling like my lashes that long. But I realize with a strip, I can make the lashes. Like, I could kind of bend and create and make them how I want them to fit my eyes. So that's why I'm more accustomed to longer lashes with strips. But compared to individuals, it's like the longer they get, they start to hang. Then they started to make my eyes look super low, which was mad annoying. So I'm just like, okay. Now I realize why I stick to strip lashes and when I do get individual lashes, I know to get them a little bit shorter and it depends on the curl. Plus I'm changing my lash girl because the other girl, she didn't really give the customer service I 
like like I like a certain type of customer service I like to be spoken to a certain way which she wasn't speaking to me crazy or nothing like that but she was barely saying anything so it's just like it just kind of gave me a weird vibe so I just don't even want to deal with that so I booked somebody else to take off my eyelash extensions and now girl the eyes is giving a little bull I feel like I lost a little bit of lashes and I'm not saying like she um messed up my lashes or nothing like that because I've been pulling them out like well not pulling them i've been slipping them out as they was like you know falling in my eyes and stuff but whatever so yeah um it's giving very little girl so we about to look 23 so um i'm gonna just put this back in a rubber band that's literally how thin my ears i'm gonna put it back in a rubber band after i slick my edges and then sweep it up and do one of these until i braid my hair later this week and that should last me so yeah i'm gonna do my bow cap real quick and then i'm gonna start my makeup because yeah thomas again but i did want to update y'all about that because i just hold on let me change my battery because now i just realized i fake out something i'm ranting about while i do all this i just want to throw it in there too real quick if you are a content creator or you have to film for whatever reason all day yo Get you one of these extra battery packs because every time my battery start dying, I always just go to my battery pack and switch it out and I just have content all day. Because I used to have a problem where I feel like I would be working all day and then my battery would die, then I gotta wait, let it charge. Now I'm losing my energy or I'm skipping so many things that I wanted to record on camera for y'all. But this came in so handy. I don't remember how much this costs. I'm gonna try to remember to link it as I'm editing this video. So get you one of these extra battery packs like girl this is probably one of the best things that i ever did to be honest like as far as being more productive throughout the day and actually getting things done because if your battery die and you got a lot to film that your battery charging it's not going to charge quick so all of that, that's gonna it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a hassle so make sure you get your extra battery pack no matter what kind of camera you got specifically i have a eos rebel sl2 that says a canon and this is the battery pack i got for it so this should fit um any canon camera to be honest you ought to just read the compatibilities in the description but no it's not sponsored or nothing like that but get you a battery pack like let's act like we got a lot of work to do throughout the day right yeah so anyways uh where's oh i'm about to just yeah one thing about me i don't expect when i get certain services done i don't be i'm not one of those people where um they complain about everything like i really don't complain about much to be honest unless it has to do with myself when it comes to other people like i'm very much more patient i don't be like you know like that but i just don't like when i receive a certain type like i'm so big on vibes building relationships with somebody who's doing any type of service on me lashes wax eyebrows anything like i feel like i gotta build some type of relationship with you that's of course just casual it doesn't have to be like oh yeah let's be friends like it don't give all that but it's just like i like to have certain relationships with them because one i like good customer service and one thing about it if i ever give you a service you will get great customer service period that's period i'm not just saying that because that's me well no i am saying that because it's me i can't speak for nobody else but yeah like i just don't like some of the service and some of the um vibes that i be getting from certain people when i get services done because it's just like mm, you're giving me your school facing me while you're giving me my service or you just i don't know people be giving the vibes like they got secret animosity towards you or maybe they just not friendly and don't want to talk that's fine too but as far as not talking that's fine but when it comes up to just getting the service done c communications shit like that like i feel like you got to be on top of that even if you got a fake team make it you're not having a good day whatever the case may be once you're dealing with clients it's a whole different ball game like i feel like you have to provide a certain type of customer service even if you're not the talkative type to talk with your clients and stuff like that you just got to make them want to come back and this one of the services i got i just did not was not feeling like oh let me come back like yeah it was convenient for me that was cute whatever but it just wasn't given so um i had to switch that up but that's neither here nor there but yeah so i got them lashes removed and i'm excited because i could not wait to get them lashes off like I was like, I want to do my makeup. That's why I didn't do my makeup because I also had bottom lashes. And 
I didn't want to get no conceal in my lashes and get gunky and all of that. I ain't want to deal with that. Plus, we was in a tropical area, so why am I really wearing makeup? Like, it's not wrong with that, but it was too hot. I was not trying to wear no damn makeup. Makeup was literally the last thing on my mind. And I brought my makeup, too. That's the crazy part. Now I wound up not wearing makeup at all. That would have saved me a couple of pounds on my suitcase that was overweight. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all this real quick, right? So, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, I brought... If you know me, you know that I overpack all the time. Like, it don't matter if I'm staying for just a weekend, a week, two weeks. I'm always packing, like, an extra week and change worth of clothes. Maybe even more than that. And I really got to stop doing that. Like... I just don't, I like having options. I don't like feeling like, damn, I should have bought that. I just want to be like, yup, I got that muscle case too. Let me, you don't switch it up. You just never know what you want to do. So that's why I always just overpack. But when we went to Jamaica, I overpacked, overpacked. So my friends live in New York. And oh my, I'm so mad I lost that footage. I really wish I could have seen it. But long story short, um, I wound up having to get my passport expedited, right? Because I'm not going to lie, my father was on top of me as far as getting my passport and stuff like that. Just just to have it. Like, he wanted me to get it for, like, different reasons. But I just, I, I, I was going to really, like, be on it, on it around now. Um, because my birthday's coming up. My birthday's in three weeks. So I would have been, like, started taking care of that if I didn't already have it done. And, um... So I wound up having to get an appointment. I almost didn't get an appointment, but I didn't get an appointment in Atlanta. I wound up getting an appointment. I had to get it in Connecticut, which is an hour away from New York. So I wound up having to fly to New York. I got an appointment the day before the trip. This is how close I cut it, y'all. This is how close. Please do not follow this. If you feel like you're going to plan a trip within the next few months or so, get take care of your passport right now. Like, Do not follow behind my footsteps. Don't. Don't do that. I thought I was really like, like, I don't know. But, so I wound up getting an appointment in Connecticut. First of all, when I tried to get an appointment in Atlanta, they was like, we have no available appointments for, first of all, backup, hold on. When I called them the first time, they was like, oh, um, what they told me? They said you have to have an actual itinerary book in order to get an appointment, cool. So now I did get a little bit nervous about that, but we that was just more reason more of a reason for us to be on top of it. Like, yo, we gotta book this trip now. So we booked the trip. They like, oh, um, it has to be within 14 days of your trip. So you have to wait until the 14 day mark, which is still essentially cutting it mad close. Like, and I we just get nervous because it's like we cutting it so close, we don't even know if this is guaranteed. Like, this is just to get a freaking passport. So, we like, all right, cool. So, I was still mad frustrated with that because it's like, what the, f like, why y'all can't just get me an appointment? But I understand it had to be expedited. So, maybe it's a specific process being that it was like, I had to be expedited. So, they was like, we don't have no available appointments in Atlanta for your passport. But the closest one to Atlanta is um, New Orleans. Girl, I'm not going to New Orleans to get no passport and not for nothing um, New Orleans has a lot going on right now being um, that they just had like a hurricane wasn't it a hurricane God forgive me if I'm if I'm mistaken that that's not nothing to play with but I believe it was a hurricane and I know they probably got a lot going on over there so I'm pretty sure the last thing they worried about right now is getting passports out and doing certain things like you know so I'm like I'm not going to New Orleans to get my passport and I'm just frustrated. So now I knew that I had the advantage to go because my friends was leaving from New York. So I knew I had an advantage to go to New York and um, get um, a passport. So I called to New York. They was like, we don't got no available appointment. So now I'm getting so discouraged. Like, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to go to Jamaica with my friends. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so mad. I was so mad. So then I wound up. Oh, by the way, to lay my... Um, lace down i mean to lay my bow cap i'm going to be using the erica j hold me down adhesive don't mind my nails y'all know i'm going to get them done don't come for me but i'm showing y'all and i'm going to announce something uh later this week too so stay tuned for that boo but um yes yeah, so they was like oh we don't have available appointment in new york so now i'm so discouraged because i'm just like bro this is not even guaranteed 
and now they don't have no appointments in New York like what are we gonna do so y'all know those who really watch my channel like you know a lot y'all know Neji Neji is one of my closest friends and um she was like bro like we all was just like panicking real bad and I, w I already kind of didn't want to leave from Atlanta by myself to meet my friends in Jamaica. Like, I wanted us all to leave together. And I know I'm not the only person who be, like, wanting to do stuff like that. I know some people don't mind traveling alone, which I travel alone all the time. Like, literally all the time I travel by myself. I take flights alone all the time, back and forth to New York from either when I was living in Miami or even out here. I always, from out here to New York, I always take flights by myself, so... I ain't want to take a flight by myself to Jamaica. We going on a group trip. Like, hello. So, now, um, mind you, also, it was more convenient for me to go to New York anyway. To leave with them from New York. Because if I would have never left from, if I would have left from Atlanta, I would have had to book my own room. Because we booked through Expedia. So, I would have had to book through, um, my book my own room, my own package. And that was like $400 more than what everybody else was paying. And it wasn't even my birthday trip. So I'm just like, not for nothing. I don't want to pay all this extra money for like all of this. Like, this is a lot. But, um, you know, that was already something on my mind. So when they didn't, said they didn't have nothing in New York, I was just like, you know, very discouraged. So now, um, they was like, the only one close to New York we have is Connecticut. Now, Connecticut is an hour away from um, New York. Well, depending on where you're going in Connecticut and where you live in New York. But from where we was, it was an hour away. So we like, bad bad but so once they told me that i can go to connecticut to get uh my passport energy was like bad like i'll take you like she was with it i said yes thank god my friend was willing to take me all the way from new york to connecticut to get the passport so we had to i had to fly in from Atlanta to new york to drive to connecticut to wait i think the process and mind you that one place that i did go to in connecticut they were so nice they were so quick they were so organized like it was it was it was it was pretty good i'm not gonna lie it was it was very good for what we needed it for so i want to get my passport expedited mind you i didn't have my passport expired in i think 2016 so that tells you alone i didn't travel out the country in that long so um yeah y'all i want to get and i had to get mind you i thought i just had to renew my passport i had to get a whole new passport a whole new passport. So I really was scared about that. When I thought I just could, you know, quick expedite. They was like, yeah, jokes on you because you're not expediting. I mean, you're not um, renewing nothing. You need a new one. So whatever. I want to go to Connecticut. I got the passport. And then we left from Connecticut back to New York. And then the next day we flew from New York to Jamaica. And then on the way back, I had to go to from New York to from Jamaica to New York back to Atlanta like all within like a day or two so y'all it was just a lot but yeah they was just basically saying on the way from new york i mean from atlanta to new york when i first initially left i had to pay a hundred dollars because my bag was six pounds overweight which is mad annoying because that's a lot of money one bag is only thirty dollars the second bag is forty dollars the third bag i think is seventy dollars so it's just like why do I have to pay $100 for a bag that's only six pounds overweight? Like, they really be trying to get you at the airport. This is why you got to just really carefully pack because not for nothing, if you really don't got it like that, and I, honestly, I don't even want to say if you don't really got it like that, nobody want to be paying no extra $100 for no bag. And then nine times out of ten, it's overweight to wherever you're going, so it's going to be overweight on the way back, which means you're going to be paying, what, $200? <laughs> so then I wound up on the way back from uh jamaica when we were checking in our bags my bag was still overweight and i wound up having to pay 150 dollars on top of the 35 dollars to check my bag uh, girl y'all think i'm rich or something like i was so mad i was so oh my god i was livid i was so mad so i wound up having to pay it of course but once we got to new york i said i don't care i went right to my mother's house not too far from neji house and I wound up getting me a little suitcase, little bag, because I'm going to check that extra bag for $40 instead of paying a whole nother $100. Y'all not getting another penny out of me. It's not happening. So, more of the story is, I need to stop overpacking, because that cost me a couple hundred dollars, and I don't like that. Mind you, we had to, oh my God, oh my God. It's like, I can't, I don't want to make this a story time, because it's just like, oh my God, I wish I wanted, I... I should tell y'all this story while I'm doing my makeup because 
I'm not gonna be. Should I tell y'all why I'm doing my makeup or should I just show y'all a few quick clips? Cause it's just like. I'm gonna tell y'all why I do my makeup because I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, but I wanna tell y'all what happened, how we almost didn't even make it to Jamaica. Like, it was so much going on. So, um, I'm gonna tell y'all that story while I'm doing my makeup. So, let me finish with this cap and we're gonna get started because this is a story. Oh my gosh. All right, 20 years later and I'm back. I feel like it's been a, almost not an hour, but it takes me forever to do my brows. I had to fix it. They're very thick right now. So, you know, and I gotta get them done. So, anyway, so. They was talking about some freaking um, travel authorization. So we just sitting here so frustrated. Like, how you telling us this not the travel authorization? But we just sitting here really confused because not for nothing. If this is not it, then which one is the real, real one? It took me about 10 minutes to fill out that one. And um, she's not really trying to help us find out how to get it together. So we just real frustrated and we calling our friends like this is what's going on. Boo, 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 boo. So now Philip gets there, he meets us there and we just panicking. Like she, mind you, also when we were showing her the travel authorization, like miss, even, every time I click this, look, I'm showing her like boom, you go to this website. She's like, yeah. Then we're like, um, travel authorization. She's like, yeah. And then I click the travel authorization and then the form that pops up, my name is automatically in the system because I was accepted or approved. So she's like, yeah, that's not it. What? So how did we walk through the whole steps and that's still not it? So I was just getting so pissed off because you're not even really trying to help. She's like, well, you're just going to have to book a flight. We like, so when is the next flight out there? Because at this point, we're about to miss our damn flight. And she was like, oh, well, we don't have no more flights today. Y'all just going to have to get a flight tomorrow. See if y'all could get the flight for tomorrow. So we just sitting here like, oh my God, like you cannot be serious right now. Mind you, we was leaving out on a Thursday. So that's a day that most people, some people, if they got extra time, might take that flight, but that Friday flight would have definitely been both. So we mad about that. And then we also, she was also trying to say that we are, I think it was 7.10. She was like, yeah, we stopped checking bags for the Jamaican flight at 7.06. I mean, 7.05. If you don't put my damn bag on this plane and stop playing with me. Like, she was really playing with us. And we was just getting so tight. So, it was a travel authorization. And then it was the bag. So, we was just like, oh, my God. We was panicking. The flight was leaving soon. We was just bugging. So, Philip got there. We tried to figure it out. Whatever, 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 whatever. Do y'all want to know that when Philip got there, first of all, Philip, and I vlogged this part, too. I'm so mad, once again. Um, we freaking, um... We wound up having to get a whole nother flight. Philip played too damn much. So we make a joke about everything. Like all of us, we was about that. We was like literally on the verge of tears. But it's just something about Philip that um, just always makes us laugh. So we over there panicking, ready to fucking cry and so on and so forth. And um, he making us laugh. We trying to book this flight. It's taking us mad long to book the flight. We trying to get seats together. And then it got to a point where he's like, we don't even care about seats together. We just want to get on that flight. Like, we're going to be there together, so it just don't matter. So, we wound up um, getting another flight. It took us about 20 minutes to do that because it kept having, like, errors and stuff like that. We finally wound up getting it. And we had to go to, we was we had a Delta flight. We had wound up having to go to JetBlue and um, checking our bags because they had a flight leaving, I think, an hour and change after... Um, the initial flight that we booked on the Delta. So thank God for that. And thank God we was already at the airport. It's not like we fell asleep or something. Like we was right there. So all we had to do was go to the um, next terminal. So we get there, whatever they like, chat the authorization. Do you know that this lady, or she, cause I didn't know, I didn't, we, look, I didn't travel out the country for mad years. So I didn't know the process, how it looked. She's like, it's not supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to look like that. That's why she was saying that that was the right form. You know what she had to do is scroll up. She was like, it's supposed to be a barcode. It's supposed to be a barcode. Once we actually got in the groove of doing the JetBlue flight and I would chat the authorization for that, you know what she had to do is scroll up. And I didn't even know we were supposed to scroll up because I'm thinking the whole email is just right there. All she had to do was scroll up. And if she would have really been trying, like she was uh, claiming that she was trying to help us, she would have known that. Because you do this all the time. So you would know all different forms. You're saying you know specifically what it's supposed to look like. 
So now if my bags wasn't a problem, I still would have never made my flight just because you ain't school up. We was ready to give it to her. Oh my God, y'all, we was ready to give it to her. So um, now we wound up getting on the JetBlue flight and it was, you know, it was cool. We wound up not getting, um, did we get seats together? Um, going to Jamaica? Yes, we wound up getting, oh my God, that's okay. So we wound up getting um, seats together in the first um, three rows. We was in the first, the third row all together. And we got the even more space. It wasn't first class. It was even more space. So we was making a joke about that the whole time. Like, they thought they ate that talking about even more space. Like, y'all really thought y'all killed it. Like, we should have been in first class. We was on the third row. Like, we really thought we was doing something that was mad funny. And we make a joke out of literally everything. I know y'all got friends, too. Where y'all just make a joke out of everything. Like, life is a joke. Like, we just, we're ridiculous. But, yeah, y'all, we want them going to Jamaica. And being that we booked the package in the first three rows, I guess your bag comes checked. Like, you don't have to pay for a checked bag, which is very convenient, actually. I wish I would have known that because I would rather sit closer to the front. And I have to check my bags, like, about the weight requirements than um, sit in the back. And I still have to go through the process of checking my bag. Like, you know? So, I'm going I'm to I'm start. That's a little something if you didn't know. So, and that was with uh, JetBlue. But yeah, yeah, we wound up going, and that's why I didn't know my bag was, that's why I didn't pay for an additional amount of money for my bag being overweight going to Jamaica because I didn't have to check it, which means they didn't weigh it. Like, obviously, I checked my bag, but they didn't weigh it. I just had to take it, and they just straight took it. Like, they didn't say nothing to me. So, more of the story is, don't overpack. Like, you could pack an extra few outfits, but I just never know what outfits I'm wearing for what. Like, I have to be super organized in order to not do that and on top of that everybody had i had the biggest it wasn't even my birthday well philip is a boy so he's probably not gonna pack that much anyway but i had the biggest suitcase all of my friends had like small suitcases and i was cutting their ass i'm like them little ass suitcases because them shits was mad little and we was joking about it the whole time like and then seeing it it's like how y'all get all the stuff in them little ass suitcases like Y'all just make me look like I'm so extra, which I know I'm extra, but it's like, damn, that really showed who was the most extra, like, and I feel like I ain't even overpacked like that. I just got a problem. Like, I've been had an overpacker problem for mad long now, so years at this point. But yeah, y'all, we almost didn't make it to Jamaica, and we would have been livid if we couldn't get another flight, and we would have had to get the flight for tomorrow. That's not guaranteed, so the whole trip essentially would have just been done off, like, it just would have never been successful. So, all in all, I'm just happy that we was able to catch that flight and have a great time. I'm not happy about the extra amount of money I have to spend, but the experience made me not even care. And I'm going to do back to Jamaica to that ex same exact resort because my best friend, she wants to go there for her birthday. And we all, I'm not going to lie, me and all my friends, we was already talking about all going to Jamaica for our birthdays. It's just whoever go first, go first. So, um, obviously I wasn't going to go for my birthday, um, which is in three weeks, but, um, my best friend in January, she wants to go and she also been to that resort too. And, um, the Rio Montego Bay and which is a fire resort. When y'all go to Jamaica, go to the Rio Montego Bay because they be having concerts, free drinks for 24 hours. Like they they really got they resort makes you want to stay on the resort like even if you didn't want to go off the resort they have so much to do on the resort like you'll get your money's worth so i dec definitely recommend that but yeah so we going back in january and i can't wait like i'm so excited and i love jamaica my family's from jamaica and you know it's like a culture thing like it's very exciting and you know i'm just i just love jamaica so yeah, y'all, we almost ain't making, but we make it, we made it, and yeah. Anyways, um, let me finish this makeup so we can finish this vlog, because I know it's probably mad long at this point. Y'all like, oh my God, I'm just listening to you tell a quick story. It's supposed to be a whole vlog, but I have to tell y'all this little mini story time, so let me finish with my makeup real quick. All right, y'all, so I just finished my makeup. This is what it's given. It's so cute, very much beats. I love the pink lips. I do want to go lips gloss shopping. Like, I do want to get... 
a pink that's still very pink but still a nudish pink and not so much pink pink this is the closest i could get to what i wanted and i didn't do my makeup in so long so it was just like mm, period i know y'all can't see it that good because of the lines and the freaking blondes i'm standing right in front of the window but yeah y'all so see now all of a sudden to come it's just it's, it's just very moody right now y'all look what happened to my shirt Y'all can't really see it because of the lighting, but I got a freaking foundation on my shirt, and I'm so mad because, of course, it's going to be a white shirt. But anyway, y'all, so we about to do look number one, which is this curly wig. Look number one is this curly wig sitting in that chair, so I'm about to get started with that. I'm watching Tay and Courtney because those is my bulls. They're mad cool, and I miss them. I got to write Tay, see what's going on. But yeah, so... I was just watching some vlogs while I get ready or whatnot. And yeah, to, I'm ready to do look number one. So um, if y'all want to see how look number one came out, obviously there's going to be um, a tutorial on it. And as well for look number two. So yeah, I'm going to come back when look number one is done and we can proceed with the day. All right, y'all. So I know it looks a little yellow. The lighting in the kitchen is mad yellow. So don't mind that but right now i'm gonna finish my hair i'm about to edit and everything soon this is how this closure wig came out look at this wig this is a closure look this is a closure wig i'm ready to go i'm ready to go the thing is i really just have to work on myself my presentation my uh what else i have to just work on a lot of things to get myself out there more and not just be known oh yeah she know how to do good here like i need to do actual projects and show y'all sit sit your ass down i'm trying to vlog for the people look he don't like that he's like what i just want to play with you all right i'm sorry stitch we'll play after okay baby okay stinky butt he mad at me y'all <laughs> he trying to stay still but yeah y'all i'm just really trying to work on me and you know how i get myself out there so you know, I'm working on it, I'm getting better, I'm being more consistent, everything. As of right now, I'm about to make a chopped cheese. I went to Brooklyn, I went to New York the other day. I was like, damn, I'm from New York, but never had a chopped cheese. So I had the chopped cheese the other day, and now I can't stop making it. So I'm about to show y'all how I make this chopped cheese, and I'm gonna get started, okay? Yeah, so let's go. I'm in the two seat with two bad bitches, black and white, I'm finna have a seat. She wanna ride in the back, cause 
Cause I've been having them wrecked. I ain't showing. She said, I ain't got them wrecked. Thought you know me better than that, but they ain't knowing. She said, My BBS is so annoying. I bought a coop this morning. She wanna look out the roof in the morning. Why is I got a new persona? I wanna pull like a triple double nigga. Larry Bird with the rags. Living my best Lord. I'm sure me, you can't ever get attached. Went to the blue, got a couple peas that I ran off. Like Zach. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I got a new do or whatever. Y'all feeling this? I call this my full Yonsei wig. Like, this is what this wig is very much giving me. Now, today I started my day. I don't want to say I started my day late because I necessarily didn't start it late. I did finish editing my video earlier. So, um, today was very much simple. I didn't do too much. I'm still not going to do too much. I already got a video done. I'm about to do um, another video just to knock everything out while I'm already, you know, done up or whatever. And my friend Des is coming. I don't think y'all ever met my friend. Nah, y'all met my friend Des briefly, but I know Des is coming over today because, well, first of all, because she's coming to see me because she loves me. She misses me. But other than that, she wants to give her favorite dogs. And y'all know Stitch is just so cuddly and just so cute. But Des is scared of dogs. So, with that being said, um, she's on her way right now. That's probably her texting me, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so she's about to be on her way over here. She about to come see Stitch and just see how she can adapt to the little baby or whatever. But, um, other than that, today's going to be pretty simple. I do want to get some work done earlier. So, I'm going to work in the meantime after I shoot this other quick video. Um, I'm going to just get some edits done. I'm probably going to eat, wait for dust. And then after that, just chill out. Like, it's Thursday. You know, I don't really want to have too much work to do, and I still want to get a lot of work done this weekend. So, um, that's what this whole week was consisted of, work, work, work. It's not really much of me doing anything, but, um, yeah, y'all, that's what it's given. Who knows, though, because tomorrow, tomorrow I might just go out. Why not? I'm going to see what that's doing tomorrow, because me and that's my goal to win tomorrow, like, get cute. I'm feeling this look, and it's like, I don't have on no makeup. Like, this is no makeup. I just did my eyebrows. I put on some lashes, eyeliner, and some lip gloss and stuff like that. And that's about it. We got the cute melanin, very rich, very cute face, clear face, and it's really giving. So, I think we might go out tomorrow. And yeah, I just want to get some more fun content for y'all. I don't want to always shoot in my house, which is why I don't vlog that much because I don't do that much. I don't really go outside. But if I got to start going outside just to get y'all some good vlogs, then that's what it's given. Now, I don't know if I told y'all, but my birthday is coming up. Well, I'm pretty sure I did say my birthday was coming up in three weeks, but I really want to body a certain way. So I'm about to book this girl to do my wig. And, um,. I want to do this nice. I don't want to give it up yet. I want y'all to be surprised. I'm not going to say anything. But um, I want this girl to do my wig. It's going to be fire. It's going to be so cute. Um, don't get me wrong. I do color all the time. So it's not really new to me. That's why I want to kind of be neutral. That's all I'm going to give y'all about that. And when y'all thought y'all probably just caught a clue. I'm telling you. I'm aware. But just a little mild color or whatever the case may be and we just gonna really eat so i'm really excited about that and i'm starting to plan for it i'm starting to tell everybody and i just want everybody to come over and have a good time maybe go to the club maybe do a brunch my birthday sadly falls on a monday which is so annoying so <sighs> that's very unfortunate but other than that so other than that that's pretty much all i got going on today so yeah let's go get this yeah. Guess who made it here, y'all? Oh shit, my camera malfunctioned. Oh, <laughs> my camera was malfunctioning. This she is. My Desi, hi, my Sticky. Come on, we could go in the beauty room for a second. Come on, Stitch. Chill out, bro. Say hi to that Stitch. No, this is so cute. Girl, oh my god, why should I move to another one? This one is cute until you see the other one. <laughs> I looked at the other one. It's okay. That's scared of the dogs, y'all. She's scared. Yo. Stitch, come here. Today, we are doing our makeup. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing my makeup. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing my I told Shania, I said, yo, like, I gotta, <laughs> I just need help. I gotta get over this, and yeah. Did you better I'm not so be over happy. here scaring us. He wanna play. He probably gonna go get a toy so you can play with him. Oh, really? Yep. Yep, I knew I, it. I, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. 
Give it to me, buddy. Oh, wait, okay. So, with the toys, he's not gonna bite you, but he don't play catch properly. Oh, how so, he do it? Like, he don't fetch it and want you to get it. He kind of wants you to fight it from him. So, <laughs> in that case, he just might bite you by accident. Okay, Cause he yeah, really I know. Like, we not doing that stitch. Yeah. Not that stitch. He breathing mad hard. He usually don't breathe that hard. He just really wanna play with you. Stitch. 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 So he don't do the throw it? The Hell no. <laughs> See, he wants you to run. He's a rough dog. He wants you to, but he's sweet at the same time. Okay. Stitch, you okay. scaring does. Look, Stitch, I'm not scared right now, okay? <laughs> this one he wants. I want a bag. <laughs> Yeah, it's baby steps for me, Stitch, okay? He's big as Hey, y'all. So, it's 2.22 in the morning, and I don't usually film around this time, but I, I know. I'm like, let me just vlog this real quick so I can give y'all some insight on what goes on in my life around this time. So, it's Thursday, and um, when you're talking to... Um, when you do hair sponsorships and stuff like that, the workers are in China. So their time is opposite of ours. So it's 2.23 here now, but it's 2.23 in the morning here, but it's 2.23 in the afternoon over there. So a lot of your communication and work goes on like around these hours. So, you know, it could be a little bit draining, especially if you don't, you know, if you're working on a time limit where it's just like, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow, but I'm staying up all night. It's like you kind of have to work your day around that, but I'm up and I'm doing it. I'm gonna give me probably a little extra hour of sleep tomorrow because I still, you know, even though I'm working late, I still want to get up early, you know, be productive and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. My food is in the microwave and um, I got some um, steaming to do, but I don't want to steam yet until um after i finish like all this business though because one thing about it it's gonna put me right to sleep like right to sleep so i'm like i'm like about to set myself up usually i'll be like mm, no, i can handle it i'll steam i can't believe i'm saying this but y'all know why. um and they'll be like yeah i can stay up and i'll be nodding off and i miss the whole thing like i either miss a payment i miss a transaction of any kind of course i miss freaking conversations and then I gotta wait till the next night around the same time it's like so annoying so I'm like you know what I'm gonna just take it through one night get it all done one night even if I gotta just stay up take care of it and you know do what I do I'm trying to practice you know being more productive throughout the day and working from sun up to sundown because I get very comfortable sometimes when it comes up to my work, so I'm trying to, you know, break bad habits and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. I'm bumping some music on YouTube, and I just need this to keep me up. So I'm on Instagram and stuff like that. Other than that, y'all, I got a package today, which I was mad excited, but I'm not gonna lie. So, if you don't know, I don't think I put my favorites video up yet, but you know, um, all the influencers, like all the big influencers, you know. They, um, all the big influencers have been promoting ancient cosmetics, and I just was like, hmm, let me just get me some cute shower stuff, like, you know, just to see what's up, so everybody be promoting it. So, I'm just, like, kind of stuck in a place where it's like, I, they ain't paying me for no review, so I'm a consumer as well, buying with my own money, and I want to check it out, so that's what I did. The first product, well, the main product that I bought was the body oil, the whip soap and um the body butter all in the mango scent and oh my god that is my favorite scent so far like i literally swear by the mango scent from ancient cosmetics and um then i switched it up and i got um something blossom and what was it called it was one that was blossom and it was one that was like rose something and then i got this new scent um creamy coconut Moringa oil and it smells like raw shea butter like every time I smell it it's like you it smell like it kind of also smell like grease if you like kind of understand what I'm saying it smells like grease a little bit like it smells good but all of the scents have like it's different you know 
um, characteristics. Oh my god, a piece of the soap. I mean, of the oil just, I'm just working on my skin. But one thing about it, I don't use nothing else for my skin as far as moisturizer. The only thing else I use is Cetaphil for my face. And it helps my face. Like, I don't like when my face is shiny after I wash my face. And that's, like, one of the only lotions I use that doesn't give me, like, a Rudolph nose. Like, it just be so shiny. But when I use Cetaphil, it gives me a nice moisturizing matte look. My nose is already big. I don't need all that. So, I also re-upped on my Island Mango. I'm literally down to the last, like, two scoops in the smaller jar that I got in the first Island Mango. So, now I got the bigger one, which is back in stock. They be going mad fast. So I was hyped that I got that. Um, but, yeah. That's what's going on. I got to get this favorites video up for y'all. I was just, I posted, like, earlier. I was like, I got so many vlogs that I owe y'all. And it's just like, it's not that I don't want to get them up. It just be so much other stuff that I have to take care of. That's like priority. So, you know, but that's why I'm trying to start working earlier so I can make time throughout the day to get these things done. So, yeah. Um, I just, I'm starving too. I'm not going to front, but I refuse to eat until, you know. So, I'm mean for that. But... Tomorrow, um, I do want to do another video. Um, I might do my hair with someone on Friday. I might do my hair Saturday. And just do another extra look for the week just because I'm feeling very motivated lately. Like, I've been really on it lately. Like, very productive. Like, not being lazy at all. Like, I'm breaking bad habits. I'm very, like, you know. So, I'm happy about that. And, um... I don't think I have anything else to do tomorrow. Um, like I said, y'all, this is going to be kind of a boring week, but you got to start somewhere. I still want to get myself in a habit of just vlogging randomly and, you know, just filling y'all in on what's going on in my day. I know some of y'all appreciate these moments. It's like, you ain't doing nothing, but at least like, I'm talking to y'all, so I know some of y'all appreciate it. Some of y'all might be bored, but look, girl. My life be exciting sometimes, but sometimes my life be dead boring and just focused on work. But I'd rather be working and bored than having fun and broke. So, I don't even care, to be honest. But, yeah, y'all. I know y'all can see it all in my eyes. I am tired. I already am. Oh, my skin. My skin. Yo, this is one of the only body, anything, lotion, butter, whatever, that works on my skin. My skin is so dry. Like, I feel like I have alligator skin. Like, my skin be so dry. And this keeps me moisturized all day. And it smells good. Like, the smell isn't too overwhelming. None of the smells are overwhelming at all. I really, like, oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Anyways, I'm not gonna bore y'all for the rest of the night. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on and get some insight on what's happening uh what what it's like to uh be an influencer who does sponsorships for hair companies specifically aliexpress hair companies this is like literally normal if you know you know so yeah y'all other than that i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow and uh yeah we gonna get that next video done and see what else tomorrow comes with i don't know right now but i'm tired i'm ready to go so Good night, y'all. Hi, um, you guys had a strawberry smoothie. I forgot what it was called. Uh, could you give me just a moment? Yeah, sure. All right, y'all. So I went and took care of what I needed to take care of. I'm about to be on my way home and get some food, but I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts because I love this smoothie, but I forgot the damn name of the smoothie. So I'm about to get the smoothie right now. And, um,. We're on my way to this food, but I'm not looking forward to this traffic. Like, it literally took me probably, like, 20-something minutes to get there. It's taken me 40-something minutes to get back almost an hour. So, I'm about to be on the road for a while, unfortunately. Oh, boy. But I'm happy I'm starting to, like, get around more. And, you know, I'm starting to explore more parts of Georgia. Because I'm finding a lot of vendors for, like, a lot of different things, like... I'm really feeling like I'm about to be the plug for a lot of shit. Okay, very about to be the plug. I'm like, yo, they got this here. Oh, they got this here too. Oh, that's a fire. So, 
oh, I feel pretty good about that because I always feel like I gotta run some well not run somebody down I don't really ask people who they vendor is but it's so hard looking for a good vendor nowadays for a vendor for any so sorry for that way how can I help you hi um you guys have the strawberry it's like a strawberry smoothie uh, it's not a smoothie, it's a culotta. A culotta. It's strawberry culotta, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so can I have a strawberry culotta and... Um, what size? Um, you can give me a small, that's fine. What else? And a glazed donut. Will that be all for you? Yes, that's it. Okay, you can pull it to the window. But yeah, y'all, I always feel like it's so hard finding a good vendor. So now that I'm finding vendors for like clothes, hair, jewelry, like all different types of stuff like that. I'm really feeling real plugged up, like for real. This lighting is like everywhere. I don't think I could get some like official good lighting. This probably as good as it's going to get right now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. I might just go home. I really want to get my nails done, but I'm not feeling to get my nails done. Like, this is what they look like right now. They don't look horrible, but they need something done to them. So, I might just wind up going. Um, who knows? I might still go today, to be honest. Like, later today and just get them done real quick. But um, something crazy happened to me. I had to upload a story time. You know what? I might go home and record that story time because that was so scary and... I just feel like Atlanta could be a blessing and a curse at the same time. And so much good has happened to me in Atlanta, in Atlanta but so much bad has also happened to me in Atlanta, too. So it's just like, I got to tell y'all this story time. Um, just to give y'all a quick overview, this freaking guy been trying to talk to me, like, inappropriately at, like, the supermarket. And um, I kept denying him. I kept dubbing him. And one day some weird shit happened. Like I was getting food in the same like vicinity, the same lot. And somebody just backed all the way into my car. Like my lights, he was about to make a right. You know when you coming out of a, you about to exit and you have that little, you either coming in or you going out. And he was about to make a right to go out. And it was empty. It was like nighttime. The whole thing was basically closed. Only that restaurant was open. Nobody was coming. No cars was coming. No cars was around him besides me. It was only me and him. He was so, he was at least 10 feet ahead of me, literally. And my my headlights was flashing in his car. Why are he going back all the way into my car? So I feel like I got set up. Like, I'm going to just explain it in the story time. Like, it gets crazy. But yeah, y'all, it's just a lot that went on. But I'm going to definitely start out, tell that story time because it's so crazy how that happened. Like, I was scared for my life. Like, I really was. Like, and only because I didn't know for sure if what was happening was, like, intentional. But it's just so coincidental like how that happened like it was crazy it's the new jack city all my bitches got ass and titties gotta hop on top the bag and get it she call me cause i'm a nigga don't beat it i'll be something like a pacifist all a nigga do is sniff with a jake open them up with the dick in the neck do rag bitches quit with the set i've been trapping gotta get up and tip bitch i'm rich i can't be living the dead she won't be my bitch i can't fuck with the bitch her best friend end up giving me sit in the tar hole when i jumped off the jet from the shapewear and it came out so cute i really like that shapewear and i'm actually considering it wearing it sometime um i don't know what exactly i would wear it under specifically but i did want to try it with like my sweatsuits and stuff like that but um thank you but um i guess we're going to see what happens but whatever um i wound up getting something to eat I just saw that food was slamming. I didn't even get to finish it because I want that rip and finish editing that video just so I could just, you know, get it over with. So I took care of that. Then I came home to some special goodies or whatever. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here. I edited my pictures and I got them up on Instagram. And now I hate how yellow and all. Hold on. I got my little light box light to put on my phone. When I blind, blinded me that I could just cook on the stuff. This is probably one of the best decisions I ever made to buy this for real because 
It makes such a big difference. Look, I'm gonna put it on the camera, turn it up a bit. Oh, that's too bright. See, I was a little bit brighter. You could turn up a lot more and you could turn it down as long as you want to. You can do yellow light or orange light. You could do white light. You could do a mixture, which is what this is on right now. This is a mixture. Let me see what, what this white light. Oh, this is, okay. This is just white light. I'm going to turn it down. I think I'm going to stick with white light only because it's a lot of orange light already. So, I'm going to just, you know, stick with that. But anyways, y'all just thought about something. Y'all always asking me about um, my lashes, like where I get my lashes. So, this, hopefully y'all can see it. If y'all can't see the name of the company, hold on. So, this is the name of their Instagram, the Bombshell Extensions. I think, well, the Bomb Extensions. I also get them from, oh my God, where's the other place I be getting my lashes from? Oh my God, it's the Bombshell Extensions. Um... And this other place, I just forgot. I didn't order lashes in so long because usually I buy a lot at once. Stitch, go home. Go home. He be so mad when I tell him to go home because he be being bad. Anyways, so I'm over here and I'm about to buy new lashes. Damn, where the hell do I get my other lashes from? I don't know. But I'm sitting here, <clears throat> but I'm sitting here going through it. I'm about to order probably like 10 pairs of lashes. And just because I already know, like, I'm not good to get an individual no time soon at all. At all. So I want to make sure I get me some right now. But if I remember the place where I get my lashes from, then um, I'm going to just enter it somewhere in the video. But for right now, I just, oh, I can't even think properly. Like, I really cannot. But, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. So, let me show y'all this slide. All right, so what I do to pick my lashes, I know it's a little light you can't really see. But um, what I do is I literally just go through these slides here. And she usually leaves, like, the um, the name of the lashes. And I just be like, oh, I like these, oh, I like these, oh, I like these. And then I just be like, all right, I know which ones I'm going to get. So, is this the same slide that I was looking at though? Because I've seen a few that I like, but they don't look familiar. They don't look familiar at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, yeah I'm about to order like um, matter them. Let me see if I could just quick look at my email and see if I see anything. Yalarde, that's the name of the brand, I forgot. Let me go on anything and see what they got, what it's giving. I feel like I'm gonna spend probably like $50 on lashes today. Like $40, $50 for sure, for sure. Like one thing about it, I like purchasing in bulk. Plus they lashes don't even be that much. It'd be like $3.99, $5, $6, like it'd be matchy. And I understand why, like, well, I don't really have a problem with it being sold out, just go and buy them. But I like, once I find a lash that I like the most, I get on top of it. And I just like really be on it. And sometimes I even see um, the lash box. So I just know like, yeah, I already like these lashes. But I'm on your lady say right now. And it's like, it's, is it given? And it's not really given what it's supposed to give, so I think I'm gonna just purchase from the bomb extensions. But they usually always have nice lashes. Y'all know they always have nice lashes, but me personally, I just like um, the bomb extensions. Like that's more my thing. So what I also did was I just went to the big list I had before. So hold on, bomb shell, wait, bomb extensions. So I would just take a picture of all the lashes that I already ordered and then I would just add on to them. So as of now, I feel like I got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 lashes I'm about to buy. I'm going to tell, tell y'all, once I purchase, I'm going to tell y'all how much that just came out to, plus shipping and order. All right, so here's one of my favorite lashes right here. This is Marilyn. And look at that price, y'all. Look at that price. $5.99. And this is what the lashes look like. And it's just so cute. Like, you can't say I ain't put y'all on or nothing, okay? You can't say. And then I've never seen these before because I don't purchase on the web. But she has these um, 
but she has these options if you want like um the adhesive pen all is all it's wholesale all i know i'm not sponsored i'm just letting y'all know i feel like i gotta always say no i'm not sponsored just so people know but um yeah so she offers all of this so i just added that one what's the next one um lola so i'm gonna just type So I'm gonna just type it in. This is another fave. And this is the picture she got listed. $7.99. $7.99. And then I got um do I buy Kindle? Yeah, that was the first one. Now this is not all of the lashes, but this is my total. I gotta add I think like seven more but this is my total so far and I have five lashes in my cart like what a fucking deal like seriously yo I don't feel like I'm gonna need lashes no time soon <laughs> like I just went crazy I really just went crazy look at that total <laughs> Look at that total, that is ridiculous. Like, I really just went dumb. I got lashes for the rest of like 2021. I got lashes up to last me into 2022. Well, in to like, come on, come on. I should do a lash roll, but I don't be wanting to touch with my lashes. That's the thing. Hey, y'all. So, right now I'm on my way to Walmart. I gotta go get, um, I was doing research all night actually about how to get the perfect white color, like a whitish blonde, not like a costume white, but like a whitish blonde. And there's so many different toners and stuff like that you can use, but I was really doing like some real research. So, um, one of the ones that, um, I want to try is they say it's at Walmart. So, I'm gonna go to Walmart. Um, I'll probably go to Sally's and I'm gonna see about getting my toes and my feet done because um i don't want to walk around here looking crusty i really don't give that so i'm still debating if i'm gonna go today or tomorrow as far as my nails but today i'm definitely gonna be going to um see about this um hair dye stuff let me over let me over let me over let me over fuck they didn't let me over early enough, so I'm gonna have to go over here. It's okay. But yeah, um, I gotta schedule so many things. Like I gotta organize so many things. Today's only Saturday, and it feels like a Sunday to be honest. But um, yeah, I just wanna get as much work as I can. I think I'm gonna probably take this wig off today too and do another look. I was planning on just chilling for Sunday. Like I didn't wanna have nothing to edit or anything like that. So um. I just want to get it done while I can so I can start next week fresh and early and um, I can have some things to show y'all. Every time I come in this freaking shopping center, I always want to go to Home Goods, And I always tell myself, Shania, I always tell myself, do not go on Home Goods because I will buy. I'll be like, yeah, I do need this painting. Like, I'm going to always look at stuff and be like, yeah, I do need this. Actually, I just might go into, um, I'm going to look for something um, at Walmart and Home Goods Because I actually want to know if they have it before I order it off Amazon. So, now that I think about it, I am going to go. I'm definitely going to go. But, yeah, y'all. So, we about to go and see what is given. And then hopefully we get back in the house early. It is so dark. I'm under this thing. Y'all probably can't even see me. Niggas ain't getting to those. 
products that I'm going to need to do this here so I got this wig from this vendor that I'm testing out and I'm about to dye it blonde with some nice roots but hopefully this wig withstands all the chemicals and stuff like that because if that's the case girl we wanted something and we're gonna have a proper 613 vendor to add to the website and y'all just gonna cop up you're gonna buy all the good wigs now this is a frontal wig but i made sure to get the frontal wigs with all the part in space like we're not doing a little two inches apart in space on the side like it don't give none of that to be honest so that's how we look on the inside boom 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 bow so i'm gonna end today by um just doing this wig i gotta prepare i don't know if i'm gonna do wind up doing um another video today I gotta see if I'm up to it, but if not, I'ma just make sure I prepare these two weeks I'ma do tomorrow and um, start off the next week. So, this is the last week of the vlog. I feel like this week I've been super, like, what's the word? I've been super on top of getting these vlog clips and videos up. Like, this vlog was pretty successful. Even though I started late in the week, I still got a lot done to show y'all, you know, stuff like that. I was just talking to my mother. And I told her, like, it feels so weird doing a project with gloves on, like, doing color with gloves on because now my hand is actually going to fit all the way inside the glove. Usually, my hand be, like, poking out the glove. Like, my hand is always something. But now, I can put my hand all the way in the glove, and I feel like I'll probably be able to work a little bit better. I think I might actually stick to doing shorter nails. Like, not all the time, but sometimes. This glove fit me so good. I can't wait. Here's Stitch Girl making all that noise. Y'all know Stitch is going to be so extra. But, yeah, so, um, this is what my hand looked like in a glove. And I know everybody's like, girl, that's what your hand's supposed to look like in a glove. But not me. My nails always is mad long. So, the glove be, like, all the way up here. Like, yeah. for the girls who wear long nails, y'all already know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, it just feels so snug. I feel like I'm going to be able to work really good with these gloves. Mm, hey, I am. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, let me start coloring this hair. I got mad conditioners for this blonde hair i was recommended by this boy in the hair store and he was showing me all these freaking um all these conditioners that would be good for blonde hair and bringing back the you know moisturizing um part of it and yeah i'm pretty excited i just really hope this hair withstands these chemicals really well and the hair stays healthy so we just gonna have to see
switch my flow. Yeah, bro. All of my niggas on go. Hey, so niggas ain't getting to know. All of my niggas on go. I put a bit on my toes. This was me, now my toes getting bigger. Bringing all my niggas. Ooh, we don't care about the eyes. They don't want no triggers. Yeah, yeah. I had to get on my burger. This other shit is not worth it. In the rain, we ain't nothing from the day. See my whole face, God said this on the cage, maxed out to the day, they ain't cut me no break, they ain't cut me no break, let me take this all over my body, try to take me to a holly. Alright y'all, so it came out really gray, which I'm a little scared, but we just gonna see how it went out. See the hair in the back, I use pretty much kind of the same toner, but a little bit of a lighter toner. This might be actually the color that I'm looking for, so we're just gonna see how it turns out. So I don't think the yellow light is really gonna show the true color. It's definitely not, but the bottom wound up coming out more of a blonde than the top. The top is a little bit darker than the back. You may not see the difference on camera, but I definitely was aiming more so for the bottom color, even though I wanted more white, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna do something with the hair. I'm gonna do a nice style or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna pretty much just go like that. Or I might tone it a different color. I gotta see how I'm feeling. I, I really gotta see because I wanna I don't wanna move too fast with the hair. And I did initially want to make the hair green to be honest, but I want to see if I can get it really white. But it's like a white silver, which I don't really like. So yeah, y'all, this is going to be the end of the vlog. If you want to see how the wig came out, then that's going to be on next week's weekly vlog. See, so I can have a little update or whatever. And, yeah, I'm about to take my butt to bed. It's early. I, did I even show you my nails? They did my nails so cute. Look at me with short nails. Very, I don't want to say mature, but in a sense, a little mature looking. Period. Anyways, I'm about to take my butt to bed, so I'm going to see y'all next week's so, vlog. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and hopefully this week is a little bit more exciting, but I still rock with whoever, you know, was watching it, like, the full time through. Like, I really fucks with y'all, fucks with y'all. But get some sleep, because I sure am. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Got a in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses have to give me, they don't hold me down.